What's up? I'm Takesha LaFay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pink Friday 2 War Tour, Gag City Reloaded, Birmingham, Alabama. Damn, that was a long ass title. But anyway, <laughs> I want to preface this by saying that I'm going to be comparing this concert with the New Orleans concert because the New Orleans concert, that was my first concert ever in my life. That's the only comparison that I have. First things first, at the New Orleans show that I went to May 8th, 2024, I had more drinks than this show. For the Birmingham, Alabama show, I had two drinks. And that was the two free drinks that you get in the VIP lounge. And I just want to say that at the New Orleans show, I had about five, maybe six. So, I just want to put that into account. So, me and my best friend, we got tickets at the last minute for the New Orleans show. And we didn't know that pretty much people who have the floor seats, they have VIP lounge tickets. Not all, but majority of them and when we went to the, the new orleans show we got floor seats but we didn't get the vip lounge experience and that's one pro that i got to experience a vip lounge in birmingham alabama so the birmingham alabama vip lounge was very very laid back cute i'm gonna insert a video they had two bartenders where you can get two free drinks as i stated earlier and you i'm gonna try to go around the room in my head so the first station was the fanny pack station it comes with one sticker and i got this sticker because it looked like the word brats but it says bar and you can get uh, you, you can get one other sticker and i got this one because i'm obsessed with Nicki minaj ai photos you get that poster and that lanyard for free as well y'all I, I don't know if y'all could really tell. I'm not gonna take that poster down, but y'all, that poster went through some things. I was so hot, I was using it as a fan, and it, it's basically a war story now. We also got this, which was a basically like a, a raffle where you scan the QR code and you can win free sneakers by Nicki Minaj. But I was so happy to talk to the Barb's and I was taking pictures with them and I was just, I was so into the VIP lounge that I truly forgot to scan the QR code to win me some free sneakers, but it's okay. Anyway, um, the station beside the fanny pack was cotton candy and beside the cotton candy was like a cute lounge area with a couch it was really really cute next to the couch was nikki plex like her accomplishments next to that was a station where you could take pictures with a ring light i'm gonna be sure to insert photos here <laughs> um next to the ring light station was pink friday nails and i got these the ones with the cherries these are coffin medium my best friend he you only get one with these but my best friend he doesn't do nails so i decided to get these and i'm gonna wear these to the miami florida show so that i can give y'all a formal review next to the nail station was a bartender and like i said it was two bartenders um the first bartender i went to which was by the fanny pack station her drinks were too strong i i'm over I, i'm 30 i'm over drinking it's just it tastes like poison these days Blech. and the second bartender that drink wasn't it either anyway next to the bartender station was food when i say Nicki minaj go feed you she go feed you period she had cheese balls fruit a shish kebab she gonna feed you and next to that food station was a candy station i didn't get no candy i'm like i said i'm 30. all of these sweets and shit is just annoying at this point nothing tastes the same as it was when i was younger next to the candy station was the dj and the dj they was turned i ain't even gonna hold you they was they was playing it that, that, that good shit next to the dj station was another place where you could take pictures but it wasn't a ring light and next to that station was the seat with the word gag city around the seat and I'm gonna insert all those photos. So it got to a point where the person over the VIP lounge, they were like, hey, we're opening the doors for y'all to go get some merch. Y'all have an hour and then we go come back, chill a little bit more and then go to our seats. And the first time I went to the Gag City show in New Orleans, I wanted some merch really bad, but my best friend, he was like, you could just get Nikki merch somewhere else for cheaper, but I'm so glad I listened to my mind this time and I got this. And y'all, when I say the material on here, this shit ain't cheap. This was $95 and I see why it was $95. Like y'all, this hoodie is heavy. Like I can't wait until it get cold, cold. Like when my aunt asked me to go to football games, 
I'm down. Just cause I know I ain't gonna be cold, period. So more free stuff that we got in the bag was this silk sleep mask. And y'all, when I say I cannot sleep without it, and y'all can get these on Amazon. I was thinking to myself like, damn, what if I lose this or I leave it in a hotel room or something? These exact ones are on Amazon. So if I lose it or whatever, I'm going straight to Amazon. We also got this pillowcase. Is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. It's the same thing on the front and back. Y'all, this material. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the hell, who the hell Nikki went to. But, um, uh, some, some miss a thousand dollar sheets. <laughs> um, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, why would Nikki give us sleepwear? But, shit, the barbs, we be going so damn hard defending her. We need our rest. So, I feel you, sis. No, that's right. That's pretty much the pros with the Alabama show. I'm finna get into some cons. And I really want to preface this by saying that I don't know what it was about Birmingham. Like, the vibes, they just, they just wasn't there. I don't know if it was because it was a Sunday. And y'all know normally Sundays are more so lazy, relaxing days. I don't know if it was because it was raining. It was, like, very gloomy outside. So, I don't know. I truly don't know what the vibe was. But my number one con, well, my first con, I ain't going to say number one. The first thing that I noticed was Nick Minaj didn't come to the VIP lounge, which I kind of figured she wasn't coming to the Birmingham, Alabama VIP lounge. I I kind of figured that. I don't know why. I just kind of sort of knew that in my heart. And yeah, Nikki did say that each show is going to be different. But damn, like for this show, she didn't bring Bill back out to sing their song, to rap their song together. She didn't bring nobody on stage to sing or dance with her. Like y'all, when I when I was at the New Orleans show, I don't know if it was because I was drunk, but people was rapping her shit word for word. Like I've noticed in a lot of Nicki Minaj videos, people would be so loud that she would have to put her hand on her ear just to hear the music in her head, in her earpiece. She didn't have to do that for Birmingham, Alabama. Like, do y'all know that viral sound of Sexy Red said, woo, y'all make some noise. And it's kind of like quiet. That's how Birmingham, Alabama was. It was just like, the energy just wasn't there. Don't get me wrong, people were rapping, but I don't know if it's because like people in the South, we think that we're celebrities. So when we see a celebrity, it's like not a big deal. I don't know. I don't I really don't know what Birmingham, Alabama problem was, but it just it it did not give what New Orleans gave. My biggest con of the night was people who probably bought like a thirty dollar ticket and was standing at the front of the stage, like standing around the stage. I'm a I'ma insert a video. Y'all, me and my best friend, we were so pissed off because we paid eight hundred dollars for these seats. Why the fuck are y'all up here? I get it, y'all want to see Nikki, but that's not fair to us. Y'all, it was a point in the show where, well, before the show started, DJ Booth asked everybody to take a seat, to do that little wave thing where everybody stand up at the same time. Y'all, it was two people standing at the front. They didn't even look back because they knew they ain't had no seat at the front. Security ain't say nothing. It was police in there. They didn't say a fuck thing, but they want to get mad at me about my light. You can't use your light because Nicki Minaj says that distracts her all these people around the stage don't distract her but um all in all i would give the birmingham alabama show a six out of ten nikki was great but i understand why she didn't like do half of the things that she did for other shows because birmingham just did not give to me now i new orleans 10 out of 10 i recommend to a friend and the only reason why i chose birmingham to go back to was because it was closest i didn't really feel like traveling far to see nikki lord i just hope the miami florida show is better but um yeah y'all that's my review i had a blast nikki was a 10 out of 10 don't get me wrong the barbs that i met that i took pictures with 10 out of 10 the people in the barbs in the vip lounge 10 out of 10 but the overall energy it just wasn't given let me know what y'all think in the comments